Hello and welcome to Droix. In our short series of best mini PCs, we first took a look at the best budget mini PC, with the Nutbox 5 outright winning in that price range. In this video, we will be covering the best mid-range priced mini PCs, which are great if you are looking for something with that extra bit of power, but remaining within a reasonable price range. We have 10 mid-range priced mini PCs which we will be comparing. Let's first take a brief look at them all. The B-Link GTI 10 features the Intel Core i3 1005G1 processor with upgradable RAM and two M.2 SSD slots with space inside for a 2.5 inch drive. The first of two B-Link SEI 10 models features an Intel Core i3 10110U processor with upgradable RAM and storage. The second B-Link SEI 10 model features an Intel Core i5 1035G4 processor with upgradable RAM and storage. The B-Link SCR3 has the Ryzen 7 processor with upgradable RAM and storage. There's also space inside for a 2.5 inch drive. The Droix Proteus 11S is our latest own branded PC. It has the Intel i5 1135G7 processor with upgradable RAM and storage and space inside for a 2.5 inch drive. The Droix Proteus G4 features the Intel Core i5 1035G4 processor with upgradable RAM and storage. However, it does not support updating to Windows 11. The Droix Proteus G7 features the Intel Core i7 1065G7 processor that has upgradable RAM and storage, but like the G4, does not support updating to Windows 11. The Minis Forum HM50 has a AMD Ryzen 5 4600U processor. It has space inside for two 2.5 inch drives. The Minis Forum TL50 has an Intel i5 1135G7 processor. It has 16 gigs of non-upgradable memory, but it does have upgradable storage. It also has space inside for two 2.5 inch drives. Our last mini PC is the Minis Forum UM350. It features the AMD Ryzen 5. It has upgradable RAM and storage and space inside for a 2.5 inch drive. Let's take a brief look at the technical specifications to compare them. There's a few points of notes for some of the devices. All apart from the Proteus G4 and G7 support Windows 11. And all apart from the Minis Forum TL50 have upgradable RAM. The GTI 10 i3, HM50, Proteus 11S, SCR3 and UM350 all support triple monitors. The GTI 10 i3, HM50, SCR3, TL50 and UM350 have space inside for at least one 2.5 inch drive. The Proteus 11S and TL50 have a Thunderbolt 4 USB with this you can connect external graphics cards for example. We start the system benchmarks with Passmark which pushes the CPU, GPU, RAM and storage to their maximum to see the peak performance. The AMD Ryzen 5 powered Minis Forum HM50 takes first place with an amazing 4791. The Proteus 11S follows in second with just over a thousand less score at 3730. And not far behind is the Proteus G7 with 3695. These are artificial peak performance scores, so let's see how they do with something more natural. Next, we are running PC Mark, which benchmarks the more day to day tasks, which includes a variety of tests. These include everything from software loading speeds, web browsing speed, video conferencing performance and image rendering. The Intel powered Minis Forum TL50 has the highest score with 4951. The Ryzen based Minis Forum HM50 is extremely close in second place, just 19 points behind. In third place with a closer gap is the Droix Proteus 11S. All three of these are great for your day-to-day -day tasks. 
Crystal Dismark runs a series of tests to see the best performance of reading and writing data to your drive. Having a fast drive is important as it speeds up tasks such as software loading or when working with large office documents. The Drawx Proteus 11S results is not a misprint. It gets around 3.5 and, and 3 gigs read and write speeds respectively. We are using a very fast SSD in our models. It's the same speed as a WD Blue SN570 if you want a comparison. The B-Link SCI10 and SCR3 take second and third positions. We're faster than average read speeds. Many of the others are around the 2400 megs a second area, with the notable exception of the Proteus G4 falling behind. As part of our tests, we check the fan noise and temperature for each device while it is running the Passmark benchmark. We are testing the noise in an average office environment, so there is some background noise such as keyboard typing or quiet talking. At the time of making this video, the ambient temperature of the office was 19 degrees Celsius. Overall, the fan noise levels are something that, if in your typical office environment, you would not hear a great deal. You would, however, hear something if it was in a small room or living room, for example, but they are not loud enough to be off-putting. The temperatures are all roughly in the same ballpark area, so there's nothing out of the ordinary. They are all within very safe parameters for the processors, with no danger of overheating, provided they have a clear surrounding area. The final test in our benchmarks is the Wi-Fi speed. All devices, apart from the SCR3, use the TurboFast Wi-Fi 6. Our devices are all connected to a Wi-Fi 6 access point with a 500 meg internet connection. We can see that the SCR3 falls very far behind, but it still has good scores for Wi-Fi 5. For the other devices, we are mostly getting around the same numbers. We only perform the test once and take that score, so repeating the test would give different results due to interference and other network traffic for example. Let's now take a look at the combined results across our mid-ranged priced mini PCs. If you are on a budget in this price range, then we highly recommend the Minis Forum UM350. Starting from 399, it scores well across all of the tests, with around middle of the table positions for them. For the price versus performance, it represents very good value for money. The overall winner in terms of performance is the Minis Forum HM50, followed by the Droix Proteus 11S i5 than the Minis Forum TL50. The HM50 scored highest in pass mark and comes second in PC mark, and the Proteus 11S came in second and third place respectively. For price versus performance between the HM50 and Proteus 11S, there is a £10 difference which equates to around 2%. Comparing Passmark and the artificial test for peak numbers, there is a 24% difference in favour of the HM50. And for the PC Mark benchmark, we see a difference of 2%. These tests are more realistic in terms of what you would be using your PC for, such as office work or media consumption for example. Both models support up to triple monitors, have great Wi-Fi speeds, support Windows 11 and have upgradable RAM and storage. The HM50 does however support two internal 2.5 inch drives, the 11S supports one. This could be a deciding factor if extra storage is vital for you. Or if having extremely fast storage speed is essential, then the Proteus 11S is a no brainer with over 1.5 gigs a second faster read and write speeds than the HM50. So it could come down to the age old decision of Intel versus AMD. You may prefer one processor manufacturer over the other, or maybe you like the design of one mini PC in particular. Both are very high performance for a mid-ranged mini PC, so I will declare them joint winners. Whichever of the two you do decide on, it will make light work of your day-to-day -day tasks, whether it be in the home or the office. 
You can learn more and buy these and many more from our range of mini PCs at our store at droix.co.uk and droix.net. You can also use the discount code MINIPC for a 5% discount. Thanks for watching our best mid-range mini PC video. We hope you found it useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already so you do not miss out on our future videos. We hope to see you back in our next one.